Good evening, my name is Alexandra Palmer. Um, <clears throat> I go by Allie and I mapped Raleigh. Um, this was my power map that I did. I mainly tried to focus on like the big main things of Raleigh that really hold a lot of power, um, which is pretty broad, especially in a city like that and a place that's very diverse as well. Um, I really tried to focus again just on general power and then I think the most difficult process was kind of narrowing that down because again it's so diverse like one minute you're in like farmland and then the next minute you're in downtown so you just there's a lot of different aspects of it um <clears throat> so I think like the biggest thing that Raleigh has to deal with right like a in terms of power is the government that is there. Sorry, this is so, the lighting's terrible. Um, and then, which branching off of that would, I would say the church, uh, because it is like, I think it's changing a lot more now than it was like the way when I grew up. Um, definitely becoming a little bit more liberal and things of that nature, but for the most part, Raleigh is pretty conservative, very, like, there's churches all around the place, um, which also feeds into the government and ha us having, um, like, more Republican people in office. Um, something I found, like, well, I want to go over, like, my favorite places and stuff, too. So, my favorite place to go in downtown Raleigh is a little coffee shop called Cup of Joe, and I've been going there since I was like eight years old. I absolutely love it. Um, the downtown area is awesome. The art museum, the science museum, Falls Lake. Um, and then there's, I don't know if it goes through Raleigh. I think it's a little bit more south, but the Cape Fear is in that general area. Um, <clears throat> and so let's see. Um, just going over everything else in this map. So another thing that I think holds a lot of power, which I found something that is, I found actually very surprising was the different bank organizations and stuff and how much they were donating just towards Raleigh. Like the bank of America charitable foundation donated, I wrote this down. It's like over almost $400 million dollars. And then um, the Foundation of the Carolinas. Oh, no. The Foundation of the Carolinas was the $400 million. And then the Bank of America Charitable Foundation was almost $200 million, which was crazy. And then something that I also found very shocking is, like, some of the biggest businesses in Raleigh were actually a lot of different, like, auto zones and things of that nature, like just auto repair shops, which I found shocking to be quite honest um but and going over like the different capitals and stuff also <clears throat> let's see sorry i have it all written down um so like for cultural capital um i would say that overall raleigh has a pretty good like cultural capital there were festivals and stuff all the time like in downtown raleigh before covid happened just celebrating like different cultures and things like that um i think that it's something that raleigh could definitely work on just because again it is a conservative city so like it's getting better though um the human capital raleigh as i said before is incredibly diverse with farmland hospitals schools volunteer programs and so much more so you have like so many different things and aspects that are like offered to you and that you can go explore and figure out what you want to do with your life and all that kind of stuff, which also goes into the job opportunities in Raleigh. Like they're awesome. Also, um, the social capital, I would say that it's pretty rich. Like again, kind of tying that into the cultural capital as well. I think that people are get like, forming more together, which I think is very good. I like definitely witnessed that whenever, um, the black lives matter protests and stuff were going on. And it was like all very peaceful. Um, except for, you know, just the police officers and stuff. And so like, it was really cool though, seeing all the people like stand together. Um, and then I got a uh, political capital, I would say political capital. Um, 
the people are ultimately a very like white ring conservative, but it is slowly changing as I've said before. And then financial capital, there's a lot of financial opportunity there. Again, there's like a lot of different job opportunities, very diverse. You have the city, you have farmland, you have a lot of things going on. Um, and then built capital, one of the things I would say that Raleigh does really need to work on would be public transportation. But ultimately, I think that everything is pretty good. Um, I think I'm almost done also reading my map out. So like Red Hat Amphitheater. PNC and then Walnut Creek are all things that bring in a lot of capital as well. And then I know we have um, many different sports teams that are tied in with like the Carolina Hurricanes, North Carolina State University, Meredith, Wake Technical Community College. Um, so we have <clears throat> all those sports players and stuff that are there. And then also one of my favorites is Jay Cole. And he lives in Raleigh and Fayetteville, kind of bounces around. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you have a great night. Bye.